You it is yeah, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about the free Galaxy Opal Glenn Rice in NBA 2K23 my team now this card is way better than I expected number one and one of the best free cards that we have honestly ever seen in my team, okay? And, and you guys are probably like, what, what do you mean by that? Well, when I say literally free cards, you don't have to grind for Glenn Rice. Like, you, he is literally as free as it gets. You load up, at, I know, look, I know loading up 2K is hard. But if you did, you're getting rewarded with a really, really solid shooting guard in my team. And they made it really easy because even if you missed a day, you could get uh, the extras on the weekend. So... Honestly, just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind to think about. Glenn Rice is extremely, extremely good in my team. So here's what here's what to look at with the card, okay? Honestly, before we... I was expected to be let down. Because when you look at Glenn Rice, okay? You're looking at a card that his last things were the Malik Beasley based on normal with pro dribble style and a normal leader, okay? That's what the last card was like. And I mean, he wasn't anything special. Okay, and again, this guy, this card comes out tomorrow. I'm personally at 14 out of 15. If you miss the day, you'll probably have to wait till Saturday to get the card. But I mean, that's that's okay. Even if you have to wait a day, uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But 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 hear me out, okay? Six seven at the two. That's really important, really valuable. Now he only has a six nine wingspan. So I mean, Terry Dishinger, like for example, is six seven. Terry Dishinger's wingspan is going to be way better. But Glenn Rice has hot spots from everywhere. I know he's only got 16 Hall of Famers, but he's got 38 on gold. So base, 54 badges. And let's, before we do anything, look at the badges he's missing. Pick Dodger, you can apply that to him. Pick Dodger's relative, relatively che cheap. Dimer, Vice Grip, Space Creator, Rise Up. You give him those five badges, which most of them are super inexpensive. And, you know, even if you don't give him Rise Up, it's okay. He's now up to 42 golds, and you don't need to apply anything else to him. 98 base three ball, good driving dunk, good standing dunk, great speed ball, good ball handle, good speed acceleration, good lateral quickness, interior perimeter is just fine. Especially, you give him Monty Williams, then the speed's at a 99, the perimeter's at a 98, the ball handle's at a 91, right? Those stats all go up. You give him a defensive shoe, lateral quickness, maybe interior, maybe steel block, that type of stuff. Gonna be even better. It comes with Hall of Fame clamp break, quick first step, and comes with the gold unplug, which is important. Hall of Fame clamps, but a ton of other gold defensive badge. Sh badges shooting wise. Hall of Fame limitless. Hall of Fame agent three. Amp blinders. Get shoot. Quarter specials. Dead eye. Guard up. Hall of Fame bully. Limitless. Take off. Post rise. Like this card is it in my team. Tendency wise, pretty solid. Not great, but solid enough in my team. Animations. Markel folds base on very quick. That release is going to be absolutely incredible. Now, I don't know about the Gary Payton upper. That's something like I'm a little hesitant on speaking on because, again, I, I really haven't seen a good Gary. I guess this Gary Payton has the Gary Payton upper, but the Gary Payton base is just really bad. So we'll just have to see what the Gary Payton upper looks like on it. But it's on very quick. And you guys know the Marco Fultz release. Let's start with Pink Diamond Ron Artest. Everybody loved him because of that release. I think it was on normal timing. It might, I think it might have actually been on quick then you had Marcus Fies, Luke Watt. All those cards can play because of this release is super good. Normal leaner, leaner MJ dribble style. Kyrie size up, I personally don't like, but you know, it is what it is. Trey size up escape, which is really solid. Uh, and then the day moving behind the back. So when you look at his six, the card is absolutely incredible. We can go in the comments. I wish Brent Glenn Rice had his young face scan. I mean, actually amazing for a free card. The, the, this comment takes the cake. Why did I lock in for Eddie Jones? I mean... Look, I did too, but it's one of those things nobody expected Glenn Rice to be this good. So it's not like we can sit here, I mean, look, and get mad at it. I mean, Eddie Jones is 100K, so it's not like he's super expensive. Sure, you probably can get mad at yourself and be like, man, I shouldn't have locked in for the card. And I, and I get it, man. If you're frustrated, I totally get it. I It's definitely understandable. But you can't just expect Glenn Rice to be an incredible free card. You, ju you just can't because if you look at the free cards we've gotten, they haven't even been this good. Even Pistol Pete Maravich, who you have to grind 17 hours for, isn't better than this Glenn Rice, in my opinion. Like, at the, And I'm going to say something that might be controversial. This is without playing with the card. 
At the shooting guard position, would I rather run Jimmy Butler? Yes. Would I rather run Terry Dishinger? Yes. Would I rather run? Uh, would I rather run a guy like T Mac? Yes. But when you're comparing Kobe to Glenn Rice, and I know a lot of people are not gonna like this, I think I like Glenn Rice more, at least on the same playing field, because when you like. He's taller. He's got, in my opinion, a better release, if not the same type of release. Like, he can compete with anybody. And so if you are a nobody's fan, if you're just trying to start the game, if you're really struggling to build a solid team, Glenn Rice is an absolutely outstanding way to do it. Now, again, between my Xbox account and my nobody's fan account, he's going to play. Like, it's not one of those things, oh, Ty, he, he's just going to play on, on, on your uh, no on your nobody span. Yeah, you know, if you have the best team in the squad, he doesn't even come co close to playing. That's not true with Glenn Rice. This card can play at every level. He can compete at every level. And he's going to be playing on both of my accounts because why wouldn't he, right? If you can get Glenn Rice and he's a top five, top six shooting guard in the game and has great sigs, great animations, and you don't notice any flaws with the card... Why would you not save MT? Like, even instead of, again, I, I pray you guys did not lock in for Terry Dishinger. Is Terry Dishinger the better card? Yes. I'm not going to try to sit here and argue against that. But is it by a lot? No. Like, just run Glenn Rice instead. Trust me, you will not really regret it. Because this card is just as good as basically any other shooting guard in the game. And the crazy part is, he's free. And you didn't even have to really grind for him. Like, again, tomorrow, I'll do my daily login, and I'll have Glenn Rice. That's just absolutely insane for me to even think about. Just load up the game, log on, and I'll get Glenn Rice. Obviously, on my Xbox account, I think I'm a little bit behind. So, it's one of those things that, yes, I know I'm going to have to... Uh, and I'm not just going to be able to log on and get Glenn Rice. I'm going to have to, you know, wait till Saturday, get the choice pack, all that stuff. But that's my own fault because I didn't load up the game when loading up the game is extremely easy to do. And I've been around for the last two weeks. It's not like I've been on vacation or anything else. So, again, if you showed your dedication the last two weeks and logged on every day, guys, congrats. Because 2K rewarded you with an absolutely incredible free shooting guard in my team. I mean, the, the card has literally no flaws. Good length. Decently wide player model gonna compete defensively gonna be knocked down shooting wise I just really hope this Gary Payton upper doesn't ruin things on the card Could it I mean it could I wouldn't say it could ruin things But it could definitely hurt his overall value in my team I mean again I, I, as far as ruining the card the cards already absolutely incredible I don't I don't think you're gonna ruin anything just with the upper But I mean it could be the difference between the card being absolutely outstanding and you know eh, He's pretty good, but not you know next level good in my team So just something to kind of keep in the back of your guys's minds And think about as we as we move forward with Glenn Rice I can't really say if he's worth it or not worth it because you it's not something if you miss the grind you, you can go back and get but all I can say is You got rewarded if you've logged on every day Okay, and, I, and honestly, as at the time I'm recording this, I'm pretty confident I logged on enough to get Glenn Rice on my No Money Spent. All I can say is immediately after this video, I'm going on my No Money Spent account and making sure I, I, I log on today, right? Just doing what it takes to at least try to, to, to make the case to get Glenn Rice because the card, again, he's absolutely incredible. The, the 2K doesn't release many free cards uh, that are this good. Obviously, we'll probably get more as the year, you know, goes on, but I'm really... This is a card that I'm really excited to do the gameplay of because, I mean, he's free. Everybody, a lot, not everybody's going to get him, but nearly everybody's going to get him. And I'm excited that everybody has a really good free card to use because, again, you can spend your time grinding for Pistol Pete, right? But this card, you don't really have to spend all that time for and you get rewarded for it. So, finally, guys, I guess we have an event that was worth it. Like, I know it's crazy for me to even talk like that or to say that. But how many really events or free cards have we had this year that aren't RNG that have been worth it, right? I, I just don't think there have been that many. And so when we do finally get one, when we do finally see this Glenn Rice, who is just absolutely incredible in my team, I think we've got to show our appreciation because, again, this needs to be more of a thing because this was a, what, three-week grind? So we should be rewarded, and we are, right? Anything that's like a two-, three-week grind that we have to, you know, we don't get the card for that long— they should make him really good. And even what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare him to Benedict Matherin, right? The, 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 the limited reward. It's not close. Glenn Rice is so much better than Benedict Matherin. It, it's legitimately not close. And so that's just, again, 
not not to like you know make it that big of a deal but that's just another thing to keep in the back of your minds and think about glenn rice absolutely incredible in my team all i can say guys is I've, i'm really hoping you guys have logged on recently basically every day on your account because this card is absolutely elite let's get wrap it up for our video today guys hopefully each of you guys did enjoy it drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day